I'm going to talk to you today about solar power and making an economic and financial analysis of solar power and how we can do it effectively. Now, I have been in the energy business for too long, many decades. I've written, I've testified, I've uh, 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 made websites, I've taught classes, I've worked on many different projects. And what I have seen in the past few years when it comes to solar power has absolutely been stunning to me. I've seen dramatic changes in the efficiency of natural gas plants. I've seen uh, 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 the cost effective of, of natural gas and coal change. I've seen the problems with nuclear power. But nothing, I've seen the kind of emergence of wind power, but nothing at all like the dramatic change in the cost and the efficiency of solar uh, uh, power. And the impacts that this change will have on the world from a solar rooftop in Africa to a, from a micro in Nigeria to a microgrid in in in, in, in uh, Rwanda to making to having low enough solar power that you can make green hydrogen effectively to power vehicles from the ability now to use batteries and storage together with solar power and to uh, reduce the uh, 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 reliance on other technologies. So what we, this is what we're going to talk about, what's happened and why this has happened, and uh, how to do some economic analysis and really understand it. Now, why would you want to understand this? Maybe, you know, you're just starting your career and you haven't seen this dramatic change. Maybe you're a banker and you know some real uh, financial analysis, but you're reluctant to look at all this other technical stuff. Maybe on the other side, you're uh, uh, somebody who's very good at technical analysis, sizing inverters and doing all this kind of uh, costing and other things, but you get intimidated by all these financial terms. I think I know. I can put this together and we can make it interesting and make it not torture for you to really go from A to Z to understand the real economics of solar power in an unbiased way so you can make some uh, all sorts of different evaluations. Now, why me? Okay. First of all, I'm not going to be arrogant like some of these people who sell themselves. Here's what I can offer you. I can try to impart my experience over many decades. I am obsessed with and have been involved in models and, and many some of the largest projects, energy projects in the world. And I think I can show you how to be creative and efficient and take the crap away from modeling. I can I've also made so many mistakes in my life I can't. I can't even fathom them, and I have learned so much from my mistakes. I've also learned from teaching for many decades now and learned from all sorts of wonderful people I've met all around the world. And what I'm going to try to do is share some of my knowledge and also share some of the effective tools you can use to really do the analysis yourself. Now... Uh, uh, let's go through some of the things that I can offer you. And one is developing databases, developing benchmarking tools where you can compare and understand what the cost of a solar project should be and whether it's overstated, whether people are giving you kind of crap, excuse me for saying that, and what the true costs are. We are going to show you how to press a little button and get all the data for things like the cost of a solar power module. The next thing that happens sometimes is you go to a website. 
Maybe you go to a website called Lazard and, oh, they've got the most beautiful something called football field, American football field diagrams that show you, oh, here's the range in cost, blah, blah, blah. We're going to show you how to take the mystery out of making an estimate of what the real costs, and we call this the levelized cost, and we're not going to be intimidated. We're going to call that, we're going to use, understand how to measure the costs and work through the drivers and make sure that when you get some PowerPoint slides or Lazard reports, you can do this yourself in minutes. Okay. We're going to work through how to estimate how the sunlight, how somebody upstairs, who knows, makes the sunlight, makes the clouds. And how do you take this sunlight and convert that to energy? And how do you use things like bifacial uh, tracking, put different uh, inverter uh, sizes on your solar power, and how to do this evaluation? Don't worry. No overly technical stuff. How to evaluate this, how to be able to look at it quickly and say, ah, that doesn't look right. And taking all the mystery ar uh, around it away and doing it quickly. And then we'll work through how to look at some of the risks involved in solar power. And we're going to talk about these things called corporate PPAs. When a company like Google or Amazon or somebody makes a data center and they want to uh, 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 show that they're a good company making, uh, uh, using environmentally uh, uh, clean energy. And they'll, make, they'll write a PPA contract. How do those work with merchant power? And also, how does all this stuff about P90, P50, P99, where does it come from? How do the statistics work? Again, we can do that without you having to remember all your little statistics and how to remember how to do, uh, I, I, I don't know, some multi-correlation uh, analysis. Okay, now... We'll also uh, uh, make a financial model, and we'll make a financial model not that not some financial model that's going to be uh, applying some bureaucratic techniques where you have to put this thing here and this thing there. No, no. What we're going to do is show you how to efficiently make one and be never intimidated by reading a financial model or. By, by constructing one or changing one or adding sensitivity analysis to it, that's, uh, I'm absolutely convinced that's what we can do. And I want to tell you that when you make these analyses, when you think about pressing Google Maps and going to the, uh, going on a highway and thinking how much time it will take, uh, there's some uncertainty uh, related to that. But that's a that's a, that's a model. That's a model of the future, and you're using that. What we need to do with our models is make sure that you apply, blah, 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 apply some real creative ideas and not just mechanically go through some boring technical details. So that's what we're going to evolve. And then we're going to talk about some details and take some intimidation. You'll hear about things like mini perms. Uh, EBLs, the equity bridge loans. We hear about debt sculpting. We hear about all sorts of things. We hear about changing credit spreads, all these kind of things that you might see in a, 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 a financial transaction. And I want to make sure that you don't get intimidated by people who talk really fast about all this financial stuff and you understand what they really mean and how they affect the ability to develop a project and to uh, uh, earn a return on a project. And finally, we'll go through the demonstrating how solar power and these, this revolution in solar power can be, uh, 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 can lead to further revolutions whether it's really possible to go to uh, 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 Nepal and put a solar power panel in and then put a battery next to it so 
children can read because they were using kerosene before, or whether the solar power will lead to significant problems because we'll have so much power during the day and then we'll need to resort to our regular old power plants during the night called a duck curve. How can we use some storage to manage these kind of issues? Or what happens if we can put solar power right next door to not a petrol station, but a hydrogen station, and we can use that hydrogen to power up our buses or our, uh, 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 or our um, uh, garbage trucks? trains or airplanes even that's the future and right now that's done in a very uh, 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 harmful way to the environment you make a hole you 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 use carbon in the natural gas and you take the hydrogen away from the carbon and you make a whole bunch of carbon dioxide how can we use the solar power to in other sources so I hope that uh, uh, you consider this. You consider this. And I promise to not make it too technical and too much torture for you, but at the same time, make you comfortable that you can make an analysis, understand analysis, and understand ultimately what you should look for in your strategic use and, uh, uh, of solar power in your business.